Doctors pull young woman off life support. Husband hears her say, get me out of here. Doctors recommended taking the life support devices two weeks after a 31-year-old lady lapsed into a coma. Her husband made the difficult decision, but he was taken aback when he overheard her a few hours later. Not everyone realizes that getting married is much more than picking out the right outfit for your wedding day or deciding on the perfect location, because they've committed to be with each other throughout thick and thin. The real hardship begins once the pair begins living together. People want their significant others to be there for them at all times when they tie the knot, including times when they're laying in a hospital bed on life support and the doctor orders their significant other to turn off the machine. These are the times when a person's love for their mate is put to the test. Ryan Finley awoke one morning in May 2007, unsure of how his life might change that day. After checking the time, he went to wake his wife, Jill Finley. He remembered, I went to wake Jill up, which is nothing short of a miracle because I never ever have to do that on Saturday mornings. She didn't answer when he called her name. He shook her and talked to her, terrified, but she remained still. He saw Jill wasn't breathing a few moments later. Ryan became concerned and dialed 911 to summon assistance for his lifeless wife. Ryan continued CPR on Jill until the paramedics arrived, doing his hardest to resuscitate her. Jill was assessed by paramedics and taken to the Oklahoma Heart Hospital after they arrived. Ryan drove his pickup alongside the ambulance and waited for the doctors to examine her condition. Jill had gone into cardiac arrest, and the physicians were attempting to resuscitate her. Jill underwent specialized medical treatments and was monitored for 24 hours by physicians. Meanwhile, Ryan remained outside the emergency room, receiving updates from the physicians on her status. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to be inspired by these real-life stories on a daily basis. Now, let's return to the story. When the emergency department doctor told Ryan about his suspicions, Ryan remembered what happened. Ryan said his mind was racing with questions, he'll never forget the feeling he had, when the doctor ordered him to pray for his wife. He stated, I believe it's about as serious as it's going to get when a doctor urges you to start praying. Jill was soon deemed in a coma by the medics. Ryan couldn't believe what he was seeing at the time. It was difficult to comprehend that his 31-year-old wife was on the verge of death. Ryan entertained the scores of guests who came to see Jill during her two weeks in a coma. One of them was Jill's cousin, who brought his Bible and stood in the hospital room for about an hour reciting it aloud. He left his Bible with Ryan before leaving and requested him to read some portions if he was interested. Ryan began reading a few verses from the Bible aloud for several hours every day after that. He desperately wanted Jill to wake up because he couldn't picture life without her. Ryan returned home on the 11th day to spend some time alone, reflecting on all that had happened. Because Jill's condition was not improving, the doctors advised him to remove her from the life support machines. He drove to the hospital and informed the physicians about his terrible decision after spending the entire night preparing himself to face the possibility that Jill would die. He agreed to switch off the life support devices and pull the plug. Jill was taken off life support on the 14th day. Five hours later, she began moving and murmuring, but Ryan couldn't stand there and watch her. He went into the waiting area, thinking they were her final moments. He remembered, I think you should come in since she's talking, the nurse said. After the nurse summoned Ryan, he returned to Jill's hospital room. Ryan believed Jill would not survive at this point and that he would see her speak for the last time. Ryan described the situation as follows. Jill was talking when I walked in. Get me out of here, she said right away. I'd like to go home. Ryan was taken aback by Jill's conversation, but he wanted to be sure it wasn't a fluke. So he quizzed her on their pet's names and a few mental math questions. She surprised him by answering all of the questions properly. Jill even informed him she wanted to have Mexican food at her favorite restaurant. Jill said in an interview that she had no recollection of her time at the hospital. She stated that she felt as if she'd been gone for a long time. Ryan responded to the interviewer's questions about how Jill came back to life. God, it was divine intervention. That's how I truly feel. Jill admitted that following her miraculous comeback, she had trouble with her motor abilities. She struggled with brushing her teeth and tying her shoelaces, so she had to relearn those abilities. Following a two-week separation, the pair made sure to spend every moment together. 
whether grocery shopping or strolling through the park. They savored each other's company to the utmost because the previous two weeks had provided them with the most terrifying experience of their lives. Jill responded yes when asked if her husband made the correct decision by removing her from life support. She didn't want to spend the rest of her life in bed since the doctors had told her she'd become a vegetable. Ryan stated in an interview, There isn't a night that goes by without me waking up. I normally kick her, and if she kicks me back, I know we're in good shape. If you were in Ryan's shoes, what would you do? Would you agree to Jill's removal from life support? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this incredible story. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone else who might enjoy it as well. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.